Greetings everyone, my name is Jennifer Wilson and today I want to teach you how to set up a Google Doc. This is very similar to a Microsoft Word document but it has a lot of great features that I think are worth looking at. So the first thing that we want to do is go to the internet. I prefer to use Google Chrome in pretty much everything but it is the best browser for using Google Drive and things that I'll teach you today. So if you have it on your computer, please use it. If not, the second best that I would use would be Mozilla Firefox because I know that the system still operates there as well. So click on Google Chrome and here you will see that um, mine has a default screen. I have a lot of things that I go to and I know it's a little hard to see but up here in the right hand corner on the Google Home screen it says Gmail images and then this thing right here that says Google Apps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Gmail and as you can see I have several. If you do not have an account you can simply go to user account if this is there, um, create account and then it's no different than any other email system. You just fill in all of your information and then it automatically sets it up for you. So I'm going to go to sign in and I'm going to go ahead and go into my Gmail account in order to save time. As you can see, my, my passwords and things are um, saved onto my computer right now. So once there, you'll have your email pulled up. And up here, you'll see this little waffle iron kind of looking box that says Google Apps. Now, you may ask, well, what if it doesn't automatically take me to my Gmail? Well, right here, as you saw, I typed in Google.com, and it's the same image up here as you can see. So if I want to go to my email, I'll click Gmail. But right now, we want to go into Google Docs. So you're going to go click on Google Apps, this little waffle iron-like box. Click it. And it gives you all of these different options. These are automatically included when you set up a Google account, a Gmail account. So click on the one right here that says Drive. As you can see, I use this system for a lot of things, both as a teacher and just as an individual in general. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to set up a brand new Google Doc that can be shared with someone else. So over here on the left hand side, you'll see the New button. Click on the New button. And then you'll see these different options. We can, uh, we can create a brand new folder in the system. We can do a file upload directly from your computer. This is no different than uploading it to a thumb drive or attaching it as email, anything like that. Do a complete folder upload. Or we can focus on what we're doing today, which is creating a Google Doc, Google Sheets, or Google Slides. These right here is, are Google's version of the Microsoft Word system. So Google Docs is the same idea as Microsoft Office Word. Google Sheets is the same concept as Microsoft Office Excel. Um, and Google Slides is the same idea as Microsoft Office PowerPoint. So what I want you to do is click on Google Docs. And it brings up something that you may think looks familiar. It pretty much has the same features as a Microsoft Office Word document. So the first thing that I always suggest doing in case you forget later is going up here and titling your document. So all I did was click on that and just for fun we'll type, uh, we'll title this Google Tutorial Sheet. Very clever I know. So once you've titled it just click back onto the Google Doc and you can begin typing. So if you want to set it up like my students do, first and last name, Miss Wilson, um, whatever the uh, class's title is, American Literature, and the due date. So, all right, they've set up their, their paper, but the problem is they're not in MLA format yet. So we want to put them out of Arial and into Times New Roman, things like that. So you just highlight the text that you want to change. Click right here where it says Arial or whatever it defaults to. It says font. Click on that. I'm going to change mine to Times New Roman, change my font size to 12. And then they also need to double space it, which is something that you need to know how to do. So over here, you'll see the little icon that says line spacing. Click line spacing. You can change it right here to one and a half, to double. 
You can do custom spacing, but let's just click double. Right here, as you can see, it's no different than the Microsoft Office Word. You can hit bold. You can italicize it. You can underline it. You can even change the text color and you can highlight it. So if you wanted to have the text color red and then you want to highlight it, go back, hit highlight, highlight in yellow, whatever the case may be. Now, if you are being asked to insert a picture, which I will ask you to do, you go right here to where it says insert, click insert. You can do all of these different things, but right now we're going to focus on images. So click image. And then you can drag an image here or you can choose an image to upload. We're going to choose an image to upload. And let's pick something sort of simple. So here's a picture of my students doing a mime activity. <laughs> you just select the photo and then it automatically begins its upload as you can see. Really just depends on the size of the image or the size of the video that you're trying to insert, whatever the case may be, as to how long it's going to take. It also depends on your internet because Google Drive is is within the um, browser structure. So I'm gonna wait. Do 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 do. And upload. <laughs> All right. So. If you want to change the image, obviously I've this is way too big. It went to another page. So you just click on it and you can manipulate the size just like you would in a Google Doc. If I want it to wrap around the text, I just click wrap around. And just as it would in a Google uh, in a Microsoft Word document, it's going to move. Um, I'm gonna do inline just because that's super, super annoying. Um, and you can just manipulate it. So what I want you to do is open a new Google document after you've set up your um, Gmail, if you do not already have one. And then I want you to create a document in which you put your first and last name, Miss Wilson. Let's title this. Google tutorial and today's date. I then want you to insert an image of your choice and then I want you to take a quick note here. Every single thing that you do is saved in the drive automatically. There is no save button per se but if you wanted to download it, if you look, you can uh, download as Microsoft Word, a PDF, anything like that straight to your computer and then you will have it on your computer as well. But I want you to set up a Google document and then up here I want you to title it Google Tutorial Sheet with your first initial period and your last name. The final feature I want to show you is the last one that you will participate in for this activity which is sharing. When you share a document, you go up here in the right hand corner, click share, and then you enter the name or the email address of the person you want to share it to. So for this demonstration, I'm going to share it to my account so that I can show you what it looks like. Right here, you can select if the person you're sharing it with can edit, can view, um, can comment, and I will show you what that means in a moment. So. We'll just leave it on can edit and hit send. Shared with one person. Now if I go back to my Google Drive, I want to check out my email. So I'm going to click Google Apps, Gmail. What about that? Jay Wilson invited me to edit a document. So I'm going to click on this. Open in Docs. And it's going to automatically put it on what is called your My Drive. So it's pretty awesome because you can automatically find it. Now look, this is really weird, right? There's someone named Jennifer Wilson whose cursor is on there at the same time mine is. That is because when you share a Google Doc or a Google Slide or anything like that from the system to someone else, you can see them work on it at the same time that you're working on it. So you don't have to do this, but I'm just going to do this for the demonstration. 
So as you can see, I typed this here. This is our original document, and I can see that Jennifer Wilson just typed this. I can do it in real time, and I can see what they're doing at the same time I'm doing it. Now this is the one that I shared with myself, and let's say that I want to comment. Like I think that this right here needs to be formatted the same as this. So I'm going to highlight it. See this little bubble that comes up that says add a comment? Click on that and then write a comment to the person who shared it to you. So we're going to say, I think this needs to be re, let's say change to a different format. Comment, and then they can see it here. So in my, my drive, so you can see it uploaded automatically here. When I click on it, I see where Jennifer Wilson at 1033 today made this comment here. If I click on it, it highlights the exact thing that I commented on. So, in conclusion, this is what I want uh, you as my viewer to do. I want you to set up a Gmail if you do not have one already. If you do, I want you to go to google.com, click on the Google Apps waffle iron icon here. Go to Drive. And then I want you to set up a Google document entitled Google Tutorial Sheet first initial, first name initial, period, last name. I want you to put your first and last name, Miss Wilson, Google Tutorial, today's date, the, fo the font, anything that you want to play with does not matter. And then I want you to insert an image, include it here, and then I want you to share it to my email, which is, in case you didn't catch it the first time, jennifer.r.wilson4 at gmail.com. Once I receive your document, then I will be able to interact with you. Thank you, and I hope this tutorial was helpful in allowing you to set up a Gmail, interact with your Google Drive, and create a Google Doc to be shared with other people.